Hello guys, it's Okakwa here and welcome to a new episode of Unique Android Launchers. I got some pretty rare launchers to share with you today, ranging from the minimal launchers to really weird looking ones. Like you always do this, sit back, relax, connect to the Wi-Fi, let's get downloaded. For the first launcher, which is my second favorite from the list I'm sharing with you today, is the Material Launcher. This is light, fast, customizable, and pretty looking launcher. The home screen features a couple of tiles. When you first install it, you get six tile setup. But as you can see, I have nine setup now, meaning it's customizable and you can increase the number to your choice. These are supposed to be apps you want to access frequently on your home screen. When you swipe to the right, you get your app drawer looking clean and nice. Like I mentioned earlier, these are all customizable. If you don't like the transparent background, you can change that in the settings. Swiping to the left side, you get your widget window where you can add any of the widgets that you want. Back on the main screen, to add an app, you go to the app drawer, long press it and add to the home screen. To go to the settings of this launcher, in the app drawer region, you hit the three dots at the top and you get to go to the settings. In here, you get a lot of customization features, including changing the number of apps on your home screen, transparency, amongst others. So I like this one, even though the first time I installed it, there were a couple of hiccups, but now it's running smoothly. So if you want a good looking, smart looking, fast launcher, check out the Material Launcher. For launcher number two, getting into the weird territory here, is the Wide Launcher. This is a new launcher that is not like most launchers that I have seen. With a wide launcher, you get a bigger home screen trying to imitate the larger home screens of foldables. One might say the most customizable launcher out there. With these palettes and applets to give you a new take on your home screen setup. And most of these are functional too and not just for show. If you aren't prepared to customize your own stuff, there's actually a whole platform of things that others have already made. You download it, tweak a couple of stuff to make it your own. I think this is a fun little launcher that spices up the home screen setup. If you're looking forward to change up your home screen setup, not like the regular ways that we normally do, you can actually check out the wide launcher. So at this point of the video, if you're enjoying yourself, kindly consider subscribing as it goes a really long way to help. Moving on to the third launcher, another futuristic sci-fi looking launcher. This is the Ark launcher. A Star Wars looking kind of launcher. Initial impressions was, this is a lot. But I think it's functional, so that's the most important thing. The launcher looks like a spaceship interface. On the top left, you can find a network info, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the likes. On the top right, you can find the CPU usage, battery, sound, and the like. If you don't like to show all of these, you can tap the middle, then everything disappears, giving you this clean, neat looking setup with just your time on the top. Coming down is a couple of frequently accessed applications with a cool animation in the middle. When you tap on this, it takes you to the settings where you get to customize this theme to your own preferences. You can change the colors and the likes. So in general, this looks like a lot, but actually it's actually functional and really fun when you decide to check it out. The interface looks really sci-fi and futuristic. So if you're looking for something with that vibe, I think checking out the Arc Launcher is the way to go. Next on the list is my personal favorite of all time. This is a smart minimal launcher I found myself going back to all the time. One of the best minimal launchers that looks amazing. Apps are arranged in categories so you can easily find them. To show them, all you need to do is to drag down, then all the applications in that categories are exposed. This is a really cool looking design, I really really like it. Color shaded with a lemon green widgets on the left side. I hope one day you're allowed to choose your own colors that will make it feel more like our own. But in general, I think this is my favorite launcher for 2020. I like the minimalistic theme that this is going with. There's no distractions at all. The apps arrangements are perfect. You can customize it to suit your own. And when you go to the left side, the widgets are arranged nicely and in an orderly manner. So in general, I really like the ratio launcher and I hope you're going to find it amazing too. Of course, download links are going to be in the description. Check them out to download it. Last on the list for today is the indistractable launcher. This is another minimal launcher that seeks to take away all the distractions and reduce your screen time. 
this app shows you absolutely nothing on your home screen apart from your course icon and your task icon basically taking away all distractions like wallpapers widgets and the likes no clutter helps you stay focused on what's important to you so apart from the course you get a tax app where you input what you need to be done by the end of the day so you can always be focused on just that if you want to access all your other applications of course you swipe to the right then you get your app drawer with all the applications inside so if you're looking for a really minimal launcher that's going to take away all your distractions and let you focus on what needs to be done looking very simple and straightforward i think this is a launcher for you so this brings us to the end of today's episode let me know which of these launchers was your favorite in the comment section my personal favorite of all time is going to be the ratio launcher i like how simple it looks it's minimal but still feels classic and unique in a way i like the touch of the lemon green as it makes the theme really really nice the next one of course will be the material launcher i like how fast and swift the application feels when i installed it in the beginning i had some issues with it it keeps crashing on me but now it seems to be running really well and i'm actually really liking it let me know which one you like of course in the comment section and this brings us to the end of today's episode all the download links are going to be in the description you can go there and download it for yourself thank you for spending time with me and i'll see you in my next episode peace i'm out